Hello everybody, so just a quick video today. We are just getting going in the calving season. Um, and today we're gonna to do a video about colostrum management. So a lot of you watching this will know what I'm gonna to cover today, but some of you won't. So the first milk a cow produces when she calves is called colostrum. Um, and it's vital that the calf gets that in its first few hours of life because a calf is born with no immunity to anything. Um, it needs to gain it from its environment and from its mother's colostrum. So it's vital that it gets the correct milk um, in the correct amounts relatively early on in its life, kind of within six hours um, is, is, is when the calf needs to take it on to, to make sure, firstly, that the colostrum quality is high enough because it, it deteriorates in the cow over time. Um, and secondly, the calf's ability to absorb the, the antibodies and stuff in the colostrum decrease over time as well. So what we do as a standard practice, we will keep frozen colostrum in stock so that if for any reason we get a calf that won't feed, because sometimes a calf won't suck its mother. Um, so we keep some frozen colostrum in stock and all we've got to do then is thaw it out and we can give it to the calf fairly quickly after it's born to make sure that it gets the correct antibodies that it needs to then help it thrive throughout its life. So we are right, Right at the start of calving, right at the start of the calving season, we have so far had three cows calve. Now, back in the spring, when we, we were calving last, we put some in store in the freezer. Um, out of the three cows we've had born so far, two of those have needed stored colostrum, so we've run out. So what we need to do, we need to re replenish our stocks today. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna test the colostrum, we're gonna bottle it, and that will then be frozen, ready for future use. So to test colostrum, you get one of these colost col some call it a colostrometer or a densimeter, I guess is its correct term. So this is what it looks like. So it's a it's a floating floating device measures I think measures a specific gravity of the of the liquid it's floating in. Um, so you can see there it's got red at the top, a paler green, and then a darker green down towards the bottom. So what you do, we put our colostrum in the tube. Float the float the doodad in the tube, um, and we're aiming to read off on here where it's floating. So if we just got red poking at the top, it's not very good quality. Um, and the more green there is coming out, floating up, that's the better quality stuff. Now it's quite the colostrum quality is important. Obviously, when you've got plenty, you want to store the best you can. But it comes kind of comes to a point that any colostrum is better than no colostrum. So what we're going to do today, we're going to save. We're going to save, we've got a bucket full here, we're going to save this, and we will test it. Um, but because we're a bit limited, like I said, we've only calved three cows so far, we're going to save it, no matter what the quality of it. Um, if you're calving lots of cows in a day, and you can sort of kind of select the best cow, obviously you would then freeze and store your best colostrum. Um, but this is a situation where anything is better than nothing. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill up our, fill up our tube, and, uh, and float our float our device and and see where we end up okay and see where that ends up so first off we'll just give our bucket a stir just to make sure we've got just to make sure we've got an e equal sample you know an even an even sample of what we're doing okay we'll take a jug full so fill the tube Right, so we've got our measuring tube full up. We will drop our device in. It's gonna bob up and down a little bit, find its own level. Um, it's not looking great. Okay, so we're just, we're right on the line between red and pale green. So if we read our tube, if I get it in the light, where does it say there? In the red zone, it's poor quality. Light green zone is intermediate quality. Okay, so we are right on the border between poor and intermediate. So that's given us a reading of borderline between poor and intermediate. So this puts us firmly into the category of anything is better than nothing. So like I said earlier on, when you've got plenty to choose from, you choose your best. Um, when this is all you've got, it's, be it's better than nothing. So quite often you will find 
Um, colostrum quality improves with cow's age um, and to that extent we will not freeze a heifer's colostrum. Okay, so the first a first calf heifer comes into the parlour, we try our very best not to take and store her colostrum. Uh, but if we choose an older cow, we will try we will try and choose the oldest cow we can. Um, so if we do a quick look, we will try and see if we pull up that cow's record. So this is cow number 136. I'll try and see how old she is. Okay, so this cow from this was born 31st of October 2012, so she is just short of eight years old. Um, so that's, you would expect a higher quality of colostrum at that age, for that age of cow. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, but it's what we got, so it's got what we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do, we've been next door, we've stolen milk bottles from our next door neighbor, because obviously, you know, we don't have milk bottles. Um, there is systems available commercial systems whereby you buy plastic pockets to put the milk in and um, so they're quite quite thin but a large surface area and um, so you fill them up you freeze them and then when you come to thaw them out because they're quite a thin area quite a thin section bag and um, they thaw out quite quickly um, so that's a that's a system that's available whereby you buy a proper the proper bags and the proper heat or things to thaw it all out and we go very old school low cost of stealing these out of our neighbor's bin so that's what we're going to do. What we do, so these are two litre bottles. So we fill up to about kind of halfway up the handle because you don't want to fill it full up because stuff expands when it freezes. So we need to leave a bit of room for expansion. So what I'll do is I'll line my bottles up. We will give it another stir just to make sure every bottle is the same. And then we will just top them up um, to our required level. Right, so first off, we'll just pour our sample back into the bucket. give it a stir because it does settle out quite quickly so we just need to make sure every bottle is the same and then just go about halfway up the handle And then we just put the lids on and that will then go in the freezer. Okay, so I said earlier on how important it is to get this into the calf as early as practical after she, after the calf is born. So our, the standard, kind of standard procedure we've got, um, if the calf isn't showing efforts of feeding itself by about the first hour of, of life, um, we will pour one of these out um, and then feed it via a bottle. If we calve, or if there's a cow calving late in the evening, um, often we will just take a bottle out on the off chance um, and before we go to bed we can then make sure the calf has got colostrum via a bottle. Um, if it's not showing signs of feeding herself, it's too long to leave a calf overnight in the hope that it will take colostrum on its own. Um, so we will give it give it two litres and that's enough to see it through the night. Um, and it's not uncommon then to come out in the morning and see the calf is then taking some more on his, you know, feeding itself. Or if the calf decides not to feed, well obviously we've got some more, we can then 
give it give them some breakfast in the morning just to make sure you know that they have got the required amount right so that's the end of this little video it's kind of it's a bit of a boring video but it's a vital thing we do you know it's so important to make sure the calves get that colostrum first um, so this is one of those jobs that kind of happens but you know a lot of people don't realize th the efforts we go to to make sure things like this happen so i just wanted to bring it you know just wanted to make you all aware of it um so i think that'll do for now i will say if you haven't already subscribed please don't forget to do so and i will say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time